On a Sports Network, presented by b partnered with YouTube and Hub 17, brought to you by Hakeem Rice and Smokey Brown. To stay in the know with high school sports, game scores, stats, highlights, and everything in our community regarding high school and middle school sports. That's all for now. Keep an eye out for tournaments and everything else. Hard work from these kids. We'll be here tuned in with you. Yeah, Smokey. All right, cool, cool, cool. So what's up, fellas? How y'all feeling? Chilling. So we going we going to start with you know the man who's 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 chilling. We going to start with your name, what school you go to, um, where's this location at as well. Um, I'm Billy Johnson. I attend Curtis. Um, it's at it's 105 Hamilton. <laughs> so where that's at, New Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, Brighton. All right, and what do you do at at, at Curtis for extracurricular activity? Uh, I play basketball. And this is your what? Your freshman year? Yeah, freshman year. All right, cool, cool, How cool. How you cool, like cool. your school so far? Uh, yeah, I like it. It's the education's good. You get into your classes okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Find your way around the building. We're going to have honesty on this show. I'm going to be real with <laughs> y'all right now. We're going to have honesty. Why you ain't talking about that? Talk to us about the honors program. Oh, oh word? Right. You on the yeah. honors program, Bill? Ooh, talk about it. There you go. That's what you should be talking about first. <laughs> you should be talking about that first. Yeah. All right. What's the name of that program? You in both? That's that's okay. what's up, King. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, who's your coaches over at Curtis? Uh, Coach McKay, Coach Fernando. Shout out, Coach K, Coach, Coach Menando. Yeah. All right, cool, uh, cool. I that. That's oh, cool. It's the older <laughs> Coach McKay. You know, you know they gonna hear about. Yeah, they gonna they gonna get you. you know they gonna, they gonna, gonna extra suicides right? for this man <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this yeah, week coming up. For that. You don't know my name. <laughs> when, when, my name sixteen in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> When's your season start? At what time? Uh, 5.30. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, you know, it's that Thanksgiving Eve game. Kick the season Tradition, off. King. You're part start, of something that's tradition. Start to stand out in basketball season off. Ready? Yeah, I need a ticket. I'm saying, if you're going to be this type of player and you really going to have that clout, you, we going to need some tickets up here. Like, I don't know about now, but back in the day, it was like five tickets apiece, so I need to be in there, all right? Oh, that's because Keem yeah, 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 with the Peters. But we... Unlimited? unlimited? It's unlimited now. That means ain't nobody going. Ain't nobody going. <laughs> ain't nobody going. Okay. There's no way. <laughs> Before, we used to have to really give blood to get in that building. Yeah. Like, that was the spot Somebody to be. Come to you the day before, bro, I got $100 for a ticket. Uh, oh. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Super facts. Scalping in the front. Oprah Winfrey shirts, you heard? <laughs> but let's get to the other side, King. We got a red shirt over here. What's up, Reef? Talk to us. Talk to us. Uh, All right, go to Reef. I go to more Catholic. Okay. Uh, Where's that at? 100 Merrill Ave, All right. or like on the other side of the island. Copy. 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 Yeah. So it's public or Catholic? It's Catholic. Right. What made you go Catholic? Uh, I feel like it was a better opportunity for me, Talk you know, to okay. get my name, like, noticed a little bit more. Okay. A little more chip on my shoulder and keep me away from stuff that I'm not supposed to be in a little bit. That's a good, that's a good answer. Good answer. Who's the coaches over there? Uh, Coach Cords and Coach Perez. Shout out to them. And then we got the big bro, Coach Mike. Ooh. Who recruited you? Uh, the JV coach, Coach Todd. You playing JV coach this Todd. year? No. So what you going in as? Uh, starter on freshman. All right. Big ups to you. You starting. How you feel about that? feel like I could be doing a little bit more. Okay. feel like I didn't go there for the spot I was supposed to be going there for, but I still got a, a chance to make my way up there. That's a good way of looking at it. Right. You be who I am, I'm not going to sit here and let y'all be modest. Mm -hmm. You just going to act like you just didn't have 30 the last scrimmage? Yeah, calm little 30. Almost. Calm oh, little 30. <laughs> Why y'all talking like that, Smooth though? 30. So you, how much work do you put in to get to that 30? You put like no could, work in? I, I'll be putting work in with my team, but, like, individually, I feel like I could be doing more. In what way? And, like, working on myself. Because I feel like I'm not that much independent. Like, I feel like I would need a coach or, like, a friend going with me instead of, like, trying to get it on my own. Okay. I get that. Somebody to help you motivate yourself to get to the next level, yeah. I got you. And, and, and Bill, we, we ain't forget about you over there, King. Um, What's your expectations for your 
with you JV this year? Yeah. And you going in as a, a freshman in high school? Yeah. How you feel about that? Who's your starting five? It's me, um, Wilmer, Omar, either it's between Francois, Eugene, and then a kid named Jaden for six four. Yo, if they didn't know that, Bill got inside information. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if they didn't know they were starting yet, they gonna watch this. Like, yo, I'm starting, my man. Reef, who's your um, starting five? I watched uh, your scrimmage the other day. Yeah, it's me, one of my my other friends from 8th grade CYO, Ethan. Okay. We got one of my close friends since he was young, Harrison. Okay. Like, we got a, like, tall lineup, I could, I could say. Then we got another kid that just came from playing football. They took a tough loss against Peters. Okay. But they gonna get it back next year. His name is Elam. I mean, Ethan Elam. Then we got another kid that's 6'5", Josiah Jones. Okay. I feel like we're going to be decent this year. Playing with each other, still gaining chemistry. we just going to lock in. Uh, Keen, before you get to the next question, I just got one question I want to build on that. You said some earlier, Reef. You said you wanted to get yourself together as far as uh, playing basketball. Do you feel like that's the only way you need to get yourself together? Is there things outside of basketball that you feel like you can get a little bit in line or you feel like you're good in that part too? Nah, I feel like I could, I could be more communicative with like family. Okay. Instead of just reaching out when I want something. Okay. okay. You saying that because that's your uncle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good answer. I'll be you too, bro. I, I got a question for you too as well. Like, do you feel like there's anything outside of basketball that's affecting basketball? Or do you feel you locked in right now? Are you ready for the season this Wednesday? CSI, 430. You about to play Peters. You about to go crazy. Like, you feel anything's distracting you? No, nah, I feel like my dad prepared me. He already told me. Shout out, Bill. It's Shout out, Bill. So every step you take will be around this room. <laughs> That's okay. That I got one. I got one last question for both of you before we get to fully sports. What's your favorite subject in school, and why? Bill, you go first. Uh, Outside of basketball. My favorite subject is geometry because mm. I feel like. It's really the only subject that you can use common sense <laughs> instead of using like a strategy that your teacher is trying to teach. I can laugh. I know geometry, that's so that's mad funny that you put it in those words. Because usually smart people don't have common sense. <laughs> so <laughs> that's 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 cool. I like that. Reef. Uh, I'll say ELA because I feel like I'm better with my words, and then okay. math. I feel like my organization with my pencil is not that good, so it like be throwing me off. So you need a little bit more routine in math because you know it's just repetitive. It's formula yeah, yeah, it's and repetitive. Like a free throw, but <laughs> my free throw down point, but not like the math or whatever. I'm getting better at it. So that sounds like we're gonna have to put some bets out for for this for this year, uh, Coach Nick. Uh, every time he miss a free throw, ten push up, something, something we gotta put something on the line. Because we need to know y'all flaws as well as y'all strengths. Like we need to know what y'all need to start working on as well, just to make sure that y'all strengths is actually getting stronger. Iron shop is iron, so. So when I was coaching them at Howe, one thing that I knew dropped all of them, they, want, they all want something. So we, for every bucket you get, I got a dollar for you. Mm. That works. <laughs> <laughs> they have 42. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I used to ask for Jordans. I ain't yeah. even going to hold y'all. LB, not <laughs> no lie, he, he could get a bucket, but he's definitely on ball. LB, I do this. Every still he get, he get something out of it. LB going to scrap in, so. Everybody wants something out of getting something, doing something. So you got to look at life at that atmosphere. I get you. LB, have you, you've had scrimmages yet? Uh, yeah, we scrimmage Poly Prep, uh, Frederick Douglass Academy, and then Farrell today. What was your high in your scrimmages? Uh, Frederick Douglass Academy, I had eight. Poly Prep, I had 14. Then Farrell today, I had eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what position do you play, uh, LB? And what do you feel like a point guard does for a team of five? I feel like, he, like he's the general of the court. He tells people where they're supposed to be. He tries to get the team the best shot as possible. Get a scoring opportunity. Okay. Reef? Uh, I play point guard as well. But I also, like, if I, like, realize how my defender is and I feel like I could work him off ball, I let my shooting guard do what he got to do, pass him the ball, whatever, then let us work as a team. But for the most part, as I play point guard, 
I feel like I just be gotta move the ball around, call a certain plays that you feel that's gonna work against their defense, and just let it work. Okay. Mm. I feel like he was right. LB come up the court, he analyzed what we gotta do, put us in the right spots, tell us go through, stay there, see who got the mismatch, and it just all works out as a plan. Nick in the background, saying what we could do better, saying Reef go get the ball, Reef go lock him up, and then we call crash out. <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's the I've heard that in high a couple times. A fact. I heard it too. Because cause Coach be ready to crash out. They, they ain't playing right. <laughs> anyway, y'all know it, it, it's at that level. But I, I respect that. You, know, you got to be a role model as well. I mean, kids going to listen to you when you're somebody that's worth listening to. That's, that's, a, fact. that's a fact. That's a fact. Like for me, I'm a sure dude. I play point guard when I play ball. But. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm a big man at heart. I want to <laughs> be in the paint, catching rebounds, putbacks, all that. That's what I want to do. Keep Kick it out to my homies. That's 17 what I'm rebounds to in a pickup game. Yeah, in the that's park. What, that's yeah we in the park. I'm setting screens. <laughs> I'm cutting hard to the basket. I'm the shortest dude on the court. So for you guys, what it is? What's your favorite position? Uh, I still think point guard because the point guards in the NBA are still exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a fact. Uh, I say mm. shooting guard because I feel like even though the point guard bring up the ball, the shooting guard really get the more opportunity. To let it fly in today's game, let it loose. Uh, I feel like depending on the matchup, the matchup, yeah. Okay. I feel like okay. you feel a little safe by saying that too. If you got a rocket and you can shoot, you can shoot. It don't matter who's it in front of you. Don't matter your position. Yeah. You gonna set it up. You gonna let it go. It's gonna go in. I see Steph Curry making on KD, <laughs> <laughs> AD, <laughs> all of them. So at the end of the day, I just feel like if you got the confidence and you know it's gonna go in before you even do something, just shoot it. But. I've seen you hit some big shots and moments for Coach Nick. Definitely. For sure. Corner pocket. <laughs> I've seen you, you do <laughs> calm him down when he was ready to crash out. Fact. So I, I, I've seen you too, LB, as far as hitting some big shots and how. And I've seen both of you get a basket when your teammates is out there fumbling and bumbling. I've seen both of you come through with a quick little basket for your teammates. Mm -hmm. Bro, um, What's up, Cool, smoke? cool, cool. I want to get to that jacket, man. I, I know he wore it for a specific reason, but I would like to him – to, to explain <laughs> to the audience what that jacket means to him and what it symbolizes. LB, you got the floor. Uh, it's my uncle's jacket. He won. Who's your the, uncle? Dev. Say his name. No, no, no. We need the full name. You got to say his name. <laughs> We're not going to skip name. through this. Devin Gardner. All right. Shout out um, Devin Gardner. He won the PSAL championship uh, 2009, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And he sent me his jacket to wear on opening night on mm -hmm. Wednesday. Okay. So how does that make you feel? I mean, Makes me feel good. We both have similarities. We both play point guard. You've watched his games before? Yeah. I watched him play like open rec with my dad before. You would lock him up? Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> now nah, we saying, need maybe, that. Maybe in a couple I years. Maybe he wore the jacket years. to let him know. You feel me? I feel like Jason Tatum, when he took the picture after he won the championship, he was like, I got to do the Kobe pose. But It's cool. Right. In a couple years, you'll be sending him your jacket. That's cool. And what you looking to average this season? Uh, 10, 7 assists, couple of rebounds, and some steals. That's realistic. I hear some people jump out the window. Reef, how you feel about your expectations for your upcoming freshman season and more? Uh, I like scoring, so probably like 15, 5 assists. Like 3 rebounds because we need to crash most definitely. Uh, steals, I'm really, I'll be strapping, so probably like 3. Okay. But overall, I just want to win. All right. Well, I was going to get to that. <laughs> if Keem, if you give me a sec, I was going to get to yeah, that. Yeah, do your thing, baby. So, need both of y'all to answer, but how do y'all feel about gunning? Like, you saying 15, he's saying he's going to drop 10. What do you feel like your 15 has to look like? Uh, I feel like calm, smooth. Not, I mean, depending on how I play that day, I like determine how I get that 15. Like, if it's like 8. Then two, then four. That would be calm. But if it's like just going to get it, then that could be it too. So if your team is up, and I'm not saying you don't need the points, do you still feel like if you don't have 15, you ain't doing anything? No, nah, definitely not. Okay. The overall goal is winning. Fact. If even if I have a little points, but was just doing stuff to make us win, that'll help it too. Right. LB. Uh, I feel like it depends if you're playing the team. And you see that you have to be the scorer that game because no one else could get it going. Then you have to gun if you if that's your day. But I also feel like if the 
whole team is scoring, I feel like you could just lay back and just score if you need to. Okay. If the clock was five seconds left, I need to know, are you taking the shot, Reef, or are you giving it up? I'm taking it. Automatic. <laughs> LB? Coming off a screen. I'm ta- I'm ta- <laughs> he told you to play. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm, I'm calling com- it my I was about to say, how you want it? How, how you want it? <laughs> he ride, said, I'm man. coming off the screen. LB? Uh, I'm taking it, but if I see somebody help, if I know the kids are shit, I'm I'm passing it. You are honest, man. I could really see that. Was that. A LeBron I said that right the there. entire house season. Like this man really cares about people. Like comes up court, looks for everybody else, tries to get his bucket if he needs to. Really, really, it, that's a genuine thing about being a PG. Because I feel like some people mix it in with being a shooting guard. Because they know they can have the ball the most, so they'll call themselves a point guard. But then come up court and not look for nobody and just shoot. Them shoot. Half court. <laughs> And knowing no that no motion, no screen, <laughs> or nothing. So I'm I'm happy y'all, you know what I'm saying, know the difference between these positions, pause, and y'all understand that y'all know when y'all want to give back <laughs> to this as far as being part of the sport as basketball. Is basketball the only sport you two are good at? Nah. I'm a, I'm a multi sport athlete. Okay, I just don't go. play it for each other sports. Let us know. Sport. 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 Devil and dabble in football. A little bit, you know. DB, receiver. Uh, receiver. Flag or physical? <laughs> right. I could play both, but I just got to stay healthy for basketball season, you know. Holla at me. I'll get you on the field. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're saying basketball is priority, but football is something yeah. that you Something you, you would like to try out in high school? Yeah. Okay. Reef, I know you got a little Spanish in you, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't play none of them tackles. I'm <laughs> <laughs> touching my body. <laughs> I'm touching that? my body. <laughs> but like track, I feel like I run decently fast. Amazing answer. So I feel like track will help you with the footwork and like the speed that you need, especially when you're going coast to coast. Beat Cross country spot. too. Yeah, I feel like that. That's that definitely could help. That's a that, yeah, it really could stamina <coughs> and also scholarships. Like I understand that y'all play basketball, but. There's going to be different paths to help y'all get to where y'all trying to go. So, mm-hmm. y'all academics is very, very important as well, too. You got people who make it to the schools that they're trying to go to off of other scholarships, and they be walk-ons. Like, I right, look, I had to get in through this way, but at the end of the day, I'm here now. I want to make sure my presence is known. So, again, I love that y'all are, like, locked in on basketball itself, but there's other ways, too, you know, swimming. You know what I'm saying? You can write with your left hand. <laughs> like, you get into these colleges. Golf. You ain't got to hurt yeah, your body. You don't got to do little other things, you know what I'm saying, to get you to a point where you feel just stuck and basketball is just everything and there's no other outlet. I feel like y'all should ask those questions to understand how to get to where y'all trying to go because we'll help you in other ways of saying, all right, look, you might not be able to go down this route and get it that way, but that route will show you at least how to get to the next route of getting to where you're trying to go, so. Definitely, definitely, definitely on the right path. Proud of y'all, for real, for real. If I don't say anything in this interview, definitely, definitely want to say proud I'm proud of, both of, both of you. both of y'all, for real. Because y'all putting on. Um, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> proud of both of you guys. There's a lot of people out there who's going to see this, who's going to want to do it. They're going to see that um, themselves in the position that y'all in. Uh, we came up with this idea, me, Keem, to do something like this because we feel like the talent on Staten Island is overlooked. Y'all are great, great kids with good talent and a lot to give and a lot to show so for us if i got to do the overtime if i got to do what i got to do to make my ends to put y'all in front of these cameras and in front of these platforms i know y'all worth it at the end of the day this interview for me even it it being the first one is going great for me because i feel like y'all could go home and now reflect on things that y'all actually want to make better instead of keeping it internal and then we don't have a way to connect with y'all or guide y'all or tell y'all look this ain't the first interview but when y'all make it to the nba which i hope y'all do each and every one of you bill tyre shout out nate nick all of y'all who perform for us who play for how i want all of y'all to make it to the nba in y'all own kind of way and know that it was yo we was in a red and black room when we started yeah you feel me we had a backdrop now we in our own studio (laughs) now you feel me and to make y'all not say things in no spaces because it's going to be new when you're at that level nah i want y'all to feel that right now 14 13 because y'all that great you feel me so take this build on it and put it in y'all toolbox because i'm saying y'all, now y'all have another outlet so you know if you're not playing basketball you know you could come in here help out if you want to help out with the channel or if you want to shoot another interview let us know we'll open up 
which I got on y'all chest. Let's talk about it. And mm-hmm. this is a safe space overall, bro. And if there's something that you say in this interview that you don't want to be shown, it will not be shown. So you feel like when you and LB right. play together right. on teams and tournaments like that, y'all bring the best out of each other? Definitely. Motivation, especially when one of us doing the wrong thing. On the court, we could get OD mad at each other, but off, we know the respect and level that we you know, rock with each other with. Okay. LB, you feel the same? Yeah. <laughs> How y'all feel when y'all play against each other, though? I was oh, I give it bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Here y'all go. Here y'all. That's, so what, who, they, that's what they were supposed to say. Y'all remember the game. What when, game? Talk about it. What game? You remember it. When it was either we go straight to the chip or we play semi finals. Oh, and, you and talking about Will, how? 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 Yeah. Yes, was, and Will O oh, didn't come. And it was just <laughs> us and some bumps. And I had 28. Nah, yeah, yeah, and Reef yeah. was guarding me. LB. <laughs> <laughs> so Reef, Reef had all 28? No, I had. Yeah, no, I'm saying like, he yes, got all 28. Yes. All 28. Yes. Oh, you Jalen Rose you? <laughs> yes. He was trying to back up and let no. me shoot. I shot. Chicken. He loved us. It was going, oh, his, it was on he, that oh, day. He shot it he just like it. the audience is saying. He was, he was a cherry picker. We know. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Reef, Reef how you I, felt about that game then? We won. <laughs> they what? No, you didn't. Y'all Y'all lost. I had the ring right in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was against y'all. Oh yeah, 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 no, yeah we lost. 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 You <laughs> came over next year. Oh though. yeah, it was the Eagle team. Uh, I could talk now. I ain't have no help. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I could, all right, I dude, could talk there now. we go. All right, go ahead. You ain't <laughs> had no help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ziggy. Yeah, Ziggy. Ziggy. It was yeah, yeah definitely. It was me, Ziggy. Ziggy feel me? Certain kids that was on our team that was starting really ain't played ball her whole life, or they said they did when they really did it. It'd be so like that. Like, Nick and him, he knew me, so I always play with him. So he knew my he knew my flaws. So it was no, like, no, we that, just we no, just gave you yeah, back. Now that <laughs> we gave you back. I didn't yeah. have no left at the time. I'll admit it. So they was forcing me left, and then there was nothing I really could have did. Oh, so them. Coach Nick used your flaws against you on the opposite team, yeah. and then when you came to his, when you came to death row, everything was good. Definitely. <laughs> LB was setting you up. Yeah. Copy. Right, I got you. Mm-hmm. Who y'all think is going to average more this season? I feel like me probably because I'm a gunner, but him definitely <laughs> Yeah, I feel like he is. I feel like I want to have a more uh, is there, average. Is there a freshman <laughs> award? Like, what, what kind of awards is for freshman? What do you do in the off season to improve your performance? How Reef said he was doing drills to improve his left hand. Uh, I would go to the park with my dad and put up shots and do drills. Okay, you and your pops working one on one. Yeah, no like, bills not like Jalen Brunson and his dad. I nah, I know Bill's not here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna be that guy on this show. So, uh, how you feel about you playing your pops one on one? You you taking him yet? I'm good. Yes, I cook him. <laughs> He's gonna try to lie and say he cooks it. No, I cook him every time we one on one. Yes, you okay. win. <laughs> You yes, win, win. Yes, or you I score. Win. He's gonna I watch win. this, this bro. I'm telling you, I need all this right now. <laughs> you, I win. He said, he he "It's clear." He can let could throw you in a post. Nah, nah. <laughs> he he wins sometimes, but I win. All right, so you can say there's times where you've walked away as a champion. Yes. All right, cool. There's some people. Listen, I don't let my daughter win in chess. I told her, huh? Yeah, I tell the my day kids, you get it is the day you earn it. Yeah, but I tell my kids, if y'all beat me in the game, that means y'all beat me. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't not, let you win nothing. I'm not letting you win anything. <laughs> so for you to have that at an early age, I know that's a confidence booster, but if he wanted to put you in that post, I feel yeah, like yeah, there'll be you, nothing you can do about it. There'll be nothing you can do about it. And you will have barbecue chicken. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. All right. All right, so the next question would be for both of you guys would be, what are the essential skills of an excellent athlete to you guys? Reef, you go first. Repeat the question, please. <laughs> you probably don't understand the word. No, yeah, I don't understand what you just said. <laughs> I got you. What skills do you need to be a great point guard? Yeah. Oh, IQ, physicality, because, you know, they probably got one person that's guarding you 94 feet. Got to have a little bag or some like, your go-to move or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. No shot? I ain't going to shoot it from the free throw on the other side. <laughs> I don't, like. Huh? I'm talking about when you get to the other half of court, though. Oh, Saying all the skills, all you the have. skills you need as to be a great all. point guard. List them all in your mind. Like, what do you feel you need to be that great point guard for freshman year for more Catholic? I feel like, yeah, like whatever I just said, they gonna have one guard you ninety four feet. You need a little bit of bag IQ, yeah. but most of our like press breakers and stuff like that, we got at least three uh dribble uh dribble facil- facilitators that can bring up the ball. Okay, LB, I feel like you gotta be have composure. Like, if there's a big crowd yelling, you got to be wow. composed. Okay. You got to be poised uh, no, and patient. I, I, I got a follow-up question in d- for the both of y'all. Do you feel like y'all play better at home or away? 
away. I feel like I love the momentum in the, the chant saying you suck. And you like shutting the crowd up? It sounds Definitely. That's a different type of animal. Yeah. LB, you play like you feel better at home or both? Uh, Don't matter. Felt like <laughs> Put your shoes on. Home. Huh? He said, "What? Well, I'm sorry. Oh, like the home, home. crowd. Home so crowd. then when you go to school the next day, cheerleaders. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everybody. Cheerleaders don't travel to the away game. Home game is always <laughs> better. I know how you feel. Yeah. John Tucker, Tucker must die. He doing backflip dunks. <laughs> I'll be pull out all the stops at the home games. One bad sports performance you had and how you learned from it. Uh, I got a lot. A trucks game. I'm. Uh, TG was up there. I never." If y'all know T G, shout out to T G. Shout out T G. Uh one game he was hiding in the crowds and he been teach like he been one of the people, like one of my models since I was young, teaching me how to he really told me not all but most of the stuff I, I learned or whatever. He was up there in the crowd. He was like, Bro, you dirt. I just watched the game and you ain't do nothing, we just learned. So I feel like that told me that the stuff I practice, you gotta show it off in the game. Okay. And what okay. did that make you do? Uh, as far as moving forward, like you felt like you applied everything for, in that nah, game, for the next like, time you play, yeah. Or did you like took some details and added it? Okay, implementing your game little by little. Yeah, you still feel like you're still learning from that loss that you still remember. Yeah, cause I hate losing. <laughs> LB, it was one game in the Bronx. My dad yelled that I had like zero points, zero like zero. I had no stats. Zeros across the board. Yes. <laughs> My dad yelled at me the whole ride home. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna be mad dad stories. I see. <laughs> so you made me drive to the Bronx <laughs> to put up zeros. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like so bad. I didn't want to talk to him for like two days. No, that's cool. That's cool. Because to see where y'all at now, you see that there's growth there. You see that you could be honest with your dad and open. And Indeed. at your weakest moments, he's really being strong for you. So, again, shout out to Bill, bro. I'm looking forward this season. I'm telling you, I'm outside. I don't took, I don't use vacation days, <laughs> personal days. <laughs> I'm covering 20 games. Well, we're covering 20 games. Yeah, we here for y'all. I'm saying PSAO between shout out Curtis, shout out Eagle Stat now and Eagle Harlem. Yep, we'll be there courtside covering, uh, commentating the games, high school varsity. But at the end of the day, Coach Nick, our inside of number one, inside of seven one eight SN. We'll be covering some of the high school games as well and the middle school games too, keeping us in tune with y'all. So when y'all have a bad game, I hope y'all know that we're going to be strong enough up here to tell you in your face, yo, bro, you got to get it together. Yeah, like, you got to do better, baby. <laughs> it ain't looking, but not to be harsh or to be bullies or to be mean on Yeah, so you could get better. So you could be motivated to really want to lock back in. Anyway, can you I, I got some leadership questions for you guys. What have you learned about teamwork from your past experience on teams you played on? Reef, you could go first. Uh, that teamwork definitely matters because if you always bash your teammate about something he did wrong, how is he ever going to do something right? Positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. LB? I feel like teamwork goes a long way because if your teammate lose confidence, you just saying, good shot, you got the next one, could reboost his confidence, make him make the next shot. All right, so mm -hmm. I, I got I got a follow up question for that. Yeah. So both of y'all are big brothers. How how does that play a part in y'all playing basketball? Uh, uh, I feel like it doesn't really play a part because you talk to your brother a different way than you would talk to somebody not related to you. Nah, okay. yeah, definitely. My brothers, I gotta be a little chill. Certain certain people on the court be like, "Bro, what are you doing, bro?" Stuff okay. like that. So you feel like your little brothers receive? Cause y'all know. Well, if the audience doesn't know. Their little brothers are also coming up in the sport of basketball. Um, shout out Eagle Middle School. Uh, where does Wade go, uh, LB? Wade goes to 48, IS48. Shout out IS48. So they're, they're coming up uh, in basketball as well, too. And they're great upcoming prospects uh, in the sport of basketball for Staten Island as well. Say Say's tough. Wade is really tough. I think Wade, I'm going to say this on here as well, is going to be a great coach when he gets older. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think That's that a fact. He really holds it down. Coach Nick put me on to that. Uh, one day he was being really, really lazy in how. He's and definitely going to be a good coach. Wade took over, and they still won the game. And he was talking to his brother as if he really was his coach. And <laughs> <laughs> LB recepted it, though. He was really listening to it, and I respect it because I, I love that bond that they had that they shared. Um, I see that the opposite with Reef and Say Say. They play on the same teams together mostly. Um, and I feel like they – I wouldn't say that they play – the best together, but I do see the similarities in their game. I do see Reeve take the time at times to say things to say, say, 
and also say 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 things back. But <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I think y'all y'all great role models for y'all y'all little brothers who's coming up in the sport as well too. Mm -hmm. Um, so have either of you ever been a captain before? Uh, I'm a captain right now for Curtis Javy. Okay, mm -hmm. talk about it. Reece. So yeah, explain. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Explain that. How how do you feel being a captain right now, JV, uh, as a freshman? Uh, I feel like it's regular. I don't know. You getting any kickback from the sophomores that been there before you? Nah, I'm chill with everybody. Really. Nobody feel no guy. type of way. Nah. I'm, What's the responsibility yeah. that comes with that to you, LB, as far as being the captain of the JV team for freshmen and Curtis? Mm. It's like just making sure everybody is like focused a hundred percent for the basketball season. So, do you feel if y'all win this on you, if you if y'all lose this on you? Mm, not not really, cause I feel like they treat me just like a regular person. It's just when we like really need it, then they treat me like a captain. But I feel like if we lose, it's like a collective group okay. loss. But if y'all win, it's on you. Nah, if we win, it's on everybody. Oh, yeah, I was about uh, to say. You said you want to say a little. <laughs> uh, Reef? What's up, Reef? Could you please repeat the question? Well, are you a captain? Oh, yeah. First, I asked yeah. if you guys ever been a captain. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. For now, yeah, they look at me as the captain. So they haven't announced it? Nah, def nah. So you're looking to be the captain? So yeah. If you do accomplish that achievement of being the freshman captain for more Catholic, what do you feel the responsibilities come with? Uh, just being a leader, definitely a floor general out there on the court. Especially, matter of fact, not even if I'm not on the court, just cheering them on, saying you got this, do what you got to do to play a role and part. But I also will get mad off the court if they do something wrong. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Do you not do those things if y'all don't become captains? I don't well, understand the question. Well, you know, I, if, I was, if you I was don't become a captain, are you just going to be salty going. about it? Or are you going to still have those same qualities of a captain? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, you answer. honest. Yeah, you being honest, honest about it. Lb, how you feel, Lb? I feel like yeah, because even not. with the point guard position, you still have to be a captain. Because you have to tell everybody where to go. You need to know everybody what they're doing if you're calling the play. So you still are technically a captain. For so do y'all watch each other's games, or you are y'all gonna watch each other's games? Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Especially the bragging rights, depending on who loses or winning. <laughs> So, Reef, since you said you like playing away games, how do you feel you handle pressure during those away games? I ain't gonna lie. When I get on the court, it's a lot of disrespectful stuff I say. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't worry about their pressure? Yeah. Oh, this is your pressure? Oh, so you out, you out there KGing <laughs> yourself. You gotta be okay with what I'm about to say to you. He's on his KG tip. Is like, there a line you won't cross? Nah, definitely not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, they might say you nice, but I think you suck. Like I'm mm. on that 100. <laughs> percent So like is so you know when you dish it, you got to be able to receive it. That's a fact. Yeah, definitely. Right. LB, you you trash talk. 100. percent Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my mom don't like when I trash talk. She yell at me when I get texts. But I only do it when people do it to me, and like when they do it to me, I violate them. <laughs> I get you. One get thing you. I can say though, but definitely about Reef is he makes a away game a home game. Like he talks so much that the fans start rooting for Being him. Being inside, <laughs> he makes a he makes a home, away game a home. He game. probably know half the parents. Word. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's let, let's talk about that because me and Coach Nick, we 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 was there. Sorry to not to exclude you, Keen, but we was there. Mm -hmm. Um, y'all lost that game, Whole right? Game. That playoff game, right, Nick? If I'm correct, against. Oh, 24? 24, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So how'd you feel about, like, how that season went? It was your eighth grade year. Y'all was, you know what I'm trying to say, you wanted to leave out with a championship, about to go into high school. So to feel, you know what I'm saying, fall a little short, how'd that make you feel during the summertime and going into your next season? No, it, just, it, it made me work harder. I was tight after that loss. Okay. I was mad. You feel like there was any things you could have done different or better? Yeah, I feel like. I could have got to the ball more, but also my team was like rushing it. I feel like we should have slowed down. Okay, it was a good game though. We we was definitely root for y'all. It was uh, a lot yeah. of buzzer. Um, Reef, you also played in the playoff game, right? Uh, yeah. Who'd y'all play against? Fifty one. How much y'all lost by? <laughs> Think like fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> like a close fifteen, or the score just stopped at fifteen. Nah. It's, it was a close game to, like, 15, but then the thing that killed it was mm -hmm. one of the teammates that we lost to, I played CYO with him, and we had practice right after the game. Mm -hmm. 
So he was just nagging and bragging all practice. So you ain't like the uh, bragging rights he had after the game? Nah, yeah. What, you, what could you have done different during the game, you feel like? I feel like I could have slowed it down. I feel like I had opportunities to do what I had to do, and I didn't. Keep okay. right. guys in high school now. So we're going to look past high school for a quick second. What college would you guys like to go to? Or give me a top three if you can go to one. Yeah, Reef. Uh, for like a high major, probably like a school like UNC. Okay, North Carolina. Uh, it's my favorite college <laughs> for basketball. So a second like mediocre ma- major, probably like Rutgers. Okay. And okay. then Jersey, your mother don't gotta go too far. Nah, yeah, and then like for like just regular. Probably like I'll say Wagner because they getting up there right now. They just went to the, uh, they I think they just moved up a division. They versed the UNC in the second round of the NCAA. Uh, well, last year, shout right? out Wagner College. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, LB. Um, high major, Alabama, so I could go to the football games. <laughs> <laughs> you think they still gonna have the same level of success when you get there? In four years, yeah. they can still be yeah. nice. I ain't saying they not, but he probably had that thought a couple of years ago. <laughs> he said, nah, I got to go there. So I got to see Nick Saban. I got to see Nick Saban? Yeah, I got to go to the football game. I respect that. I, I got go. a couple uh, I wanna co-workers go to Rutgers, who went too. to Alabama. They they experienced that. It was crazy. They loved it. Yeah, I had a co-worker went to school with Jalen Hurts at Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, what's your second? Uh, if main you major? Uh, St. John's University. Okay. Crazy. And, and third? Coach uh, I think... Xavier, right? It's Xavier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Xavier. Yeah. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. And not to sound like that, I'll get too personal, not to get offensive. These are all your picks. Like the schools you want to go to, you like. Like, yeah. I don't know. He asking that these schools actually dad wants you yeah. to go to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 dad's choices or your choices? Why you sitting right there? Why you gotta do that? I'm gonna sit to that. It's like both. Yeah, both. I make sure both. He, he One showed. year school, two of his schools. Yeah. He <laughs> 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 put you on to the pros and cons. Yeah. I think I might want to switch it. I think I might want to go to like a HBCU, probably. Okay. Ooh, my man. Okay. Cause like, my oh, man. Feel me? They got the good girls. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> they got girls. Homecoming is <laughs> late. I'm not gonna act like it's not. They, are. they got girls. They got like good foods. I heard because there was somebody that went to Eagle and he came. He came back, uh, to give us a little like interview about the school. He said they got like so food, so food like Wednesdays or uh, Thursdays, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then I love eating, so perfect. I do got a question, actually, follow. I'm happy you did say that because I've been thinking about this question all day. I'm happy I remembered. To the both of y'all, I need for y'all to name three distractions. LB, go. Three distractions. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know any distractions. I don't get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did <laughs> what, what are three things that could distract you? Yeah, right. Yeah, what's three things that could distract you? Then? Oh yeah, better question. Uh, so, so uh, a way to get money, really. get some money. Uh, girls, and what else? What else? I don't know. I don't get distracted. <laughs> Reef. Uh, distraction. I don't really know. Probably like LB said, girls. They definitely are a major distraction. Sorry, you get that? Go, go. Yeah, I, this I f- is part of podcasting. So you can do this. This ain't no network. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you can have interruptions. It's like Martin. It's like brought me from the fourth floor. Who's that? Your sister. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, um, Gary. Yeah, that's really it. I don't really know no other distractions. Like just girls? Yeah. Okay. I hope you call me. I just want to let you know that on camera. What? I About girls? You, yeah. Oh. I just hope you call me. Nah, call Don. Call Don. Call Don. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Call your mother first. <laughs> call, your, call your mom. <laughs> call your mother. Hi, big sister. How are you? Uh, re, um, Keem? Uh, you asked questions about how already, right? No, that was the last question, to be honest with you. All right. So how would you guys rate your experience in the how tournament? One through ten. Which How would you rate it? It was good. It first was good. The second season. Both seasons was good, but the first was- season was better. You said, we like, you like the first October? season better? You said the October season was Cause, better? Because I won the chip. Like, that's why. <laughs> so because you oh, yeah, y'all lost the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you got the MVP for the All-Star game. Right, that was a good answer, too. though. That was a good answer. Yeah. Right, but the second season, you don't feel like it was more competitive? Right, yeah, so outside of winning... 
Yeah, the second season was better because it was more competitive, more teams. Jerseys yeah. too, baby. You got yeah, the jerseys. jerseys. Fire, oh, my fire. fire. Uh, Appreciate Nick you, Nick. Nick. Rizzo yeah. Wee. What's up, Reeve? What about you? Boys and Bowlers. How was your experience in how? One through ten. What'd you think? Uh, first year. Felt like <laughs> horrible. Felt like hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he did a life rap. <laughs> we can talk about it, bro. I'm very open like this. Like, yeah, say what you guys say. Say what's how up. you felt about the first season of Out, because this is gonna help me. Yeah, make it better. Make it better. Because like, I felt like first year, I was like OD pressure on me because I really didn't have no help aside from Ziggy and okay. Jeremiah. Okay, shout out Jeremiah, eighth grader this year in Eagle Academy. Nah, yeah, he was he was definitely a help. At least towards the points wise, yeah. I feel like that was really my only help. Him and Ziggy. Then the second year, definitely big accomplishment. Made it to the last <laughs> round. Made it to death row. I, I, <laughs> I feel like yeah. I feel like I feel like I earned my for like stripe or whatever because they used to call me Chopper with no mag. Till, uh, <laughs> <laughs> till, uh, <laughs> feel me? Made that. Made that. He said, Jay Reed was shooting, but he ain't hit nothing. He had the nerve to ask for the ooh wah. <laughs> nah. Then I made that clutch three uh, against the team that beat us. Uh, you did. You made a couple clutch, clutch threes. Definitely. Yeah. That's a fact. Sure. Even though you ain't feel like I was bigging you up on the channel, but it, it's cool. We was. We Listen, I feel like we was. We were Reeve saying said, your name a lot, Reed. Reed pressed me. called me said, Uncle, let me ask you something. <laughs> what you meant by line 34 <laughs> at minute 52? I'm like, what, boy? But yeah. End of the day, you did you did a really good job. And um, what do y'all feel like we could we could do different next year or or better next year? And so how Nick, and how Nick is the budget. Uh OB, you could go first. Really, I feel like it was good. Just a little more teams. Just to make sure like teams are like actually a hundred percent committed. Because there were some games where it was just like five people from the team. Yeah, but I that isn't really y'all fault. It's really the team's fault. Feel like. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't tell B. Feel like it could have been more like competition. Feel like certain games, I'll be waking up early morning just to beat them by a thousand. So, <laughs> like you had bye weeks? Yeah. <laughs> or your team was just that good? Nah, we be a team by 80. Nah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, we had to, and we had to wake up early for that it's, game. It's our second season. They seen that we outside now. So they, they, nah, yeah. We definitely need a couple teams to pop out to Staten Island, get the belt, go that's back what home. I hear. You want some off the island competition? I respect that. We definitely got to go scouting. So that means y'all yeah. see ourselves playing in the spring tournament coming up, right? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, we gotta have a conversation about those. Let's 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 slow that down. Just slow that down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have those conversations in, in, in the future, but for now, we, we if there's a spring tournament suggestion box, coaching mm -hmm. middle school and high school. One thing I can say though, for high school wise, mm -hmm. high school separated freshman JV varsity. Mm -hmm. We could separate that one because mm -hmm. we had kids that freshman playing against kids that's varsity. And that's a fact. It's looking real. Cracks, but I feel like my sure. middle school team could have won high school this year. Well, <laughs> if you still sticking to your word, you're talking about you following them into high school, so I'm expecting that team to still stay together as yeah. well, too. Shout out Nate again, call. Bucket, Yeah, we added, we added pieces to it. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward. My I want you guys Jayden. to stay together. Jaden is ducking consistently now. Yeah. How is not stopping anytime soon. We're only going to get better. We're going to put it in different environments. We're going to be outside. We're going to do it different seasons. So it is going to happen next year for sure, but we're just not going to put too much date on it right now. I'll just leave it like that. Keep. I got anything else? No, I think I think this was good. I, I, again, I appreciate y'all for popping out. Uh, Reef, LB, Coach Nick, Keen for you being here, and everybody in this room for believing in the idea of this. This is something that we started for Father's Day. As y'all remember, we did dodgeball. It's grown to be at this level. Um, I'm actually happy to spend my money on this and be around y'all and build with this. So yep. I appreciate y'all time. Real talk. If I, I thank y'all. Uh, Keen? Yeah, While he doing that, do y'all shout out? You want to shout out? Yeah, yeah I was about to ask you if you want to put your, if y'all want to put y'all Instagrams on here. Put your Instagram on. Yeah, facts. Yeah. That's too much work. Too just, much work. Just, to just, just go follow LV Lafayette. All right, yeah, go follow that. Yeah. Shout out my mom, little brothers, family, just like that. My uh, Instagram is homebody dot reef. All right, y'all. That concludes our inaugural. Spotlight interview with Bill Johnson and Sharif McGrew for 718 Sports Network presented by BWAP. This is Hakeem Rice, Smokey Brown, and we out.